oil for the car because Carl wants to do an oil change on the car today and I have to go pick up the oil um, and then I'm going to hit up the thrift store because today at Goodwill is 75% off everything um, on top of that I have a um, spend a hundred spend a hundred dollars and then get 25% off your purchase I don't think I'm going to spend that much but I'm just going to bring it with me just in case um, and my goal is to pick up some more fall clothes because I don't have a lot of fall and winter clothes and I do want to pick up um, some boots I don't have a lot of boots and that's kind of what I'm aiming to look for um, and eventually I do have to go pick up an outfit for Ian's picture day first grade pictures is on Friday and I do have to pick that up and buy that as well and then what else do I have on my week's to-do list I don't remember but I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done and on Tuesday and Wednesday because those are my days off this week and then I work this whole week the remainder of the uh, Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and then next week is when I would have another day off so I'm going to do a lot of things as much as I can in the um, two days that I'm off that's what I usually do I just do a lot of things on the two days that I'm off since um, I usually don't get a lot of days off or I don't get the weekends off to do things that I want to do as well so I'm going to do everything that me and want to do now kind of take it as is but George is currently sleeping and I am driving to Goodwill now so we'll be we'll see you in a bit able to find any clothes for myself that wasn't really a good day for clothes but it was a good day for children books and I needed to pick some book up for Ian since come on focus our goal this some um, school year is to read more come on camera focus our goal this year is to read more books to Ian so we need to pick up more books the books at the thrift store are uh, priced at I think 43 cents each 43 or 49, I think it's 49 cents. 49 cents each. And I bought a bunch of books. Um, so I'm just going to show you some of the books we bought. The House in the Meadow. The Three Horde Little Pigs. Horrid Little Pigs. And this one is for Ian. He's going to be so excited for this. Mega tube. Ian loves any books with sharks, so um, this is going to be his favorite. I already know it. And then we got Franklin and the Thunderstorm. I used to really um, read Franklin books all the time, so it was kind of um, reminiscence of the past by finding these books at the thrift store. And then I got Curious George, because Ian loves Curious George, um, and no, I didn't pick it out just because it has George's name on it. Ian really loves Curious George. Are you going out? 
Are you gonna go now? You gonna say bye, mom? And bye, mom. I'm gonna go read my book. Yeah. And then I also got Corridor's birthday. I love Corridor. I remember his. Is it Corridor or Corridor? Whatever way you pronounce it, but that he has a book called the button one. What's the button one called? The missing button. Whatever, I don't remember, <laughs> but I love quarter books. And then I got this one for Ian. He loves everything dinosaur too, and it's called Duck Duck Dinosaur. And little hoot, I got this more for um George than anything. It's just cute little book with owls in it. It's cute, cute. Baby, do you want to be more in the camera? You're just sitting there looking so sad. <laughs> yeah. Focus, camera. Focus. Okay. There you go. There it goes. It's focusing. And then I picked up this one. It's called Dinosaurs Learning for Fun for Little Ones. I know it's not Ian's a big boy now, but he still loves dinosaur books like crazy. And it's a pop-up book. Look at it there. Look at it there. I am looking at it. I pooped out. He's taller than you. He's saying hi I to you. I can with him. Yeah, that. it's pop-up book. So I know Ian's going to like it a lot, even though he's six years old. Special dog. Look at the T-Rex. <laughs> even George loves it. <laughs> he's over here smiling at it. I'm gonna show you the T Rex. Yeah. Ready, George? Ready? One, two, three. Rawr! <laughs> One, two, three. Rawr! <laughs> One, two, three. Rawr! 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 I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't touch this because you're going to rip the dinosaur off, the T-Rex off, and then Ian's going to be real sad at you. And then I got two of these Skippy, Skippy John Jones book. And we got In the Doghouse, and this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's just a Skippy John Jones. Ian likes reading these Skippy John Jones cat books, so here's that. But I feel bad you're, you're like being covered up by the by the books. You are so heavy. You're making my knees hurt. <laughs> Wanna stand? And then we got another shark book. It's a 3D thriller shark. <laughs> Do you think it's funny too? Dunna. No 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 no. And then what do we get next? Another shark book. There was just like a like a bunch of shark books, so I bought a bunch of shark books. So I thought I was done buying books, right? I thought I was done buying books, and I had looked through all the books, and then there was these bins on the side that, of books that they needed to put up, and I looked through it and I found the Yoda Chronicles. I bought it because it had a Lego toy in it. <laughs> And I know Ian is going to have a blast with it, but I don't know what it is. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but it looks like it's just Star Wars books. And I think Ian will have a kick out of it because it's Lego. It's Lego ones. So I got that for him. And then... Let's see. I bought If You Give a Peek... If You Give a Big... Wow, this is a tongue twister. <laughs> if you give a pig a party. Never wake a sleeping snake. I think I read this when I was a kid, but I'm not sure. But that's the book. And then Curious You on Your Way. Another Curious George book. In another snake, uh, a snake book. It's called Vicious Snakes. And it's just little facts about several snakes. 
and he has been into discovery channel and animal discovery insect discovery so he's going to love that and then I got this for George it's a carry me playful pets book and it has like textures he's eyeing the tripod uh-uh bud and just little books fun book and then I got this for George also constructions just a little book about construction stuff. Cute, cute. And then I got um, Creepiest Creatures of the Dark. Again, Ian's into big ocean life and discover. I got another shark book. And this is the National uh, Geographic Kids Science Readers book. Sharks. And then I read this when I was a kid. It's called Little Penguin. And um, the Little Penguin, and I love this book. So I found it and got it. And George, hey. We'll go watch Baby Shark up here. And then I got Dino in the Jungle. And it's just a cute little book. The Jungle Animals. And then I got the little, the letters are lost. I don't know, I've never read this book before, but it looks cute and simple. So I got a bunch of books that Ian can read, um, level one read books, and more of the discovery animal kind of books so that um, he can learn all about it. And then I got a Planet Earth Incredible Reptiles book. It just goes through various reptiles. And then um, one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books, Oh, the Places You'll Go. I love this book. And like this book is like, what, $10 at the store and I only bought it for 49 cents, so that's a deal. And then I got this for, so you're supposed to pull the bud, supposed, supposed to pull the buddy from the start of the book, through the book and make it an interactive kind of deal. So, that's for George. And then I got a deadliest animal, deadliest ocean animal book for, for Ian again. Come on, focus camera. Just more facts about the ocean animals. And then, and then I'm going to combine these together because I have a lot of Bearston beers. Who grew up reading the Bearston beers? Because I did, and I love reading them. Um, and there was a big bunch of the Bearston beers books that the thrift store had at Goodwill. And so I picked them all up. And this one is Forget the Bears and Beers, Forget Their Manners. Um, the Bears and Beers New Pup. The Bears and Spears and the Double Deer. I read this one, I think. I think I did, actually. Yeah, I read this one before. The Bears and Beers Sleepover. The Bears and Spears New Kitchen. The Bearstone Spear get in a fight. The Bearstone Spear down on the farm. The Bearstone Beers and the Truth. The Bearstone Beers Bedtime Battle. And the last one is the Bearstone Beers Clean House. So I used to love their tree house that they lived in, and I always wanted to live in a tree house because of the Bearstone Beers. So Got a bunch of that for Ian to read. And then we got Maisie's Morning on the Farm. And for a fun one, Power Ranger for Power Rangers Megaforce. And I know I'm not gonna like reading this, but Ian's gonna have fun. So 
that is a book for Ian more than for me. And um, I got him a Cars book. And I bought a lot of books that said step one on them, just so that, um, or beginning reading one, just so that he can read it himself, because we're teaching him how to read the books himself. He gets the words, he knows what the words are um, from school and everything, but he just doesn't know how to read the full sentence. And then I got him a Fantastic Four book. He has one currently, and he loves it. And it's one of the ones that he makes me reread all the time. So I wanted to get a new one because I'm getting tired of reading the same Fantastic Four book. Come on, camera, focus. You are, like, not focusing today correctly. And then, oh, I missed the Burston Beer one. I guess I got another one. The Burston Spear and the ch Baby Chipmunk. And then I got Zach's Alligator. And I bought it because it had an alligator on it. I think Ian will like reading the book because it has an alligator on it. So that. And then I got another Step 1 reading book. And it's a Thomas the Train. Ian loves Thomas the Train. And it's called Stuck in the Mud. Oh, yeah, baby. Tell me all about it. How yummy is that strawberry? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this one called No Matter What Diary of a Worm The Cut Ups and at Camp Custer They look very familiar Like I read one of their books before When I was a kid But I don't remember which one I think those two boys look familiar I don't know where, but I got it. It was 49 cents. And then, oh, this is like one of the best finds at the thrift store. Fables. I read this when I was in fourth grade, third grade, and I'm going to read it to Ian and read it to George. I'm excited to read it to them. I think I always like this one. Um, the Madame Rhino Rhinoceros and her dress, and I loved it because of this dress. Look how colorful and cute it is. That's my favorite fable book story in this book. If you have read this book, which book, which fable story is your favorite to read? It's just, it's amazing. I found it, and I was like, I got to get it, because... Even if Ian's not going to read it, I'm going to read it to Ian. <laughs> I got this for George. No biting. And it's one of those interactive books that you um, open pages and flaps. Get some more stuff. Yeah, so. He'll have fun with that. Hopefully he doesn't rip the pages out. And then I got Ian a Manix. Magnific Magnificent Movers pop-up book. Ooh, look at that airplane. He's going to love this airplane. Look at that. Oh, no, it's broken. Looks like I'm going to have to tape it a little. It's one thing about thrift stores. He's going to love this book. Even though he's a little old for it, he still loves stuff like that. So, um, And then I got <laughs> Just Good to Bed by Mercy or Mayor. The little bunny book. Or is, I don't think he's a bunny, is he? Is he a bunny? He's a bunny, right? He's a hamster? A monster. Not a monster. I think he's a hamster. Hamster? I think so. And I'm almost done with books, I swear. And then I got him a Spider-Man. He's been addicted to Spider-Man for like two years now? Three years? Two, three years, I think. And um, I got him a Spider-Man book. He's been Spider-Man for Halloween every year for the past four years now. And he's going to be Spider-Man again this year. So, actually... I have a Spider-Man costume next to me. My brother bought it already. Because we went to Costco and it was on sale for 
And Ian saw it, and he was like, I want to be Spider-Man again. So, he got it. He got his Halloween costume already, and he's been playing with it, wearing it around the house, which is perfectly fine. Oh, the books. Um, do your ears hang low? <laughs> I just thought of the song, and I was, like, singing it while I was reading it at the thrift store. It was pretty funny. Oh, I thought it was funny. And then Daniel's Dinosaur. Another dinosaur book. And then the last book that we have in this book collection haul from the thrift store is this simple book for George. First words, ABCs. So cute. So cute. And if he destroys it, I'm not that upset about it because <laughs> it's only 49 cents. And he got food in his hand. But that's it for all of our books. It was an awesome book haul, book store haul collection. What is it called? My sister's just giving me the eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, are you going to walk? Are you going to take some steps? Boom. Nope. <laughs> Bye, Alrighty. I will see you all next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And until next time. Bye bye. George, wanna say bye? George, you wanna say bye? Wow. No, he doesn't wanna say bye. He's too busy standing up. But alrighty, see you next time. Bye bye.